So the FTW just cannot, cannot be silent that the woke powers of garbage don't win anything. Okay, so you see so these, you know, Joker with the Oscars, you know. But there we go to the you find some you some some FTWs here. Okay, this is why people don't use Twitter. Okay, you know. So here we go again. He just way to fix Oscar so white because of course we can't nominate movies based off you know um movie and, uh, and you know the whole Oscar so white thing started uh, the, it all started in 2014 when you know um because some man some people didn't watch some movie and now it's not again because you know these woke these movies that you guys popped up are not getting awards for example. The easiest way to fix Oscars so white for us is to finally create awards for everyone's art. Well, the awards are for the movies that are the best. The movies that tell the best stories. It's the same it's like you guys just don't get that, okay? And of course you have all you know for example, think us was better than Joker, but the at uh, the general audience didn't care for us. They didn't worry. And a lot of people didn't really like us. And the only people who liked us were the critics, okay? The fact that the us has had, you know, had such a big divide as The Last Jedi, some people were saying it was amazing, some people were saying it was a complete garbage horror movie, it's really a testament that to you guys, as you know, here. Then, I don't want to click on this, you know? You know, then you could nominate both for your award and debate, still begging others to see us. Then be mind what happens when they see us for white grays. And then there was someone in the comments with this one saying, But SSS is kind of Oscar nominees and future projects. Well, if, they, if, if, if money was really involved with the Oscars, it would really, you know, all, it wouldn't be all Disney movies, it wouldn't be like Toy Story 4 Beyond Best Picture, the Lion King remake. Because, you know, Disney can easily manipulate the Oscars so their movies can always win. You do realize that. Okay? Disney used money to get Black Panther on there, they were trying to get Endgame on there, but Best Picture, they were really trying to get Endgame on Best Picture. They were trying to get Captain Marvel, Aladdin, and Star Wars The Rise of Soywalker for Best Picture. That's why the best visual effects, half the movies are Disney movies, okay? Half the movies are Disney movies, don't give me but not. Dormite, which is a movie I never heard of. The Fellow, which is another movie that no one has heard of. Hustlers, which is a movie that you guys popped up again. Us and Knives Out was nominated for Best Director. Okay. I got the token. And again, here's more. You know, this cool guy. Let me see if I token guy, but us did not. They can't be really want to take this seriously. Mm. But nobody likes us, okay? Let's read the Oscar Nives. Or the Uncut Zeps. Secondly, actor supporting was Tom Hanks and Brad Pitt. You know, let's see. <laughs> See, they still complain, okay? They're st they'll complain no matter what, okay? I think the Oscars will really won from this. You know, no matter what you do, no matter what you put on there, they'll complain, okay? These people will complain. I don't want to, you know, I think Hollywood's starting to finally realize, hey, let's, pr let's promote the movies that actually are good instead of saying, oh, look, look at the, you know, look at, you know, it's now it's a representation, you know, look at that, look at the entity politics. Stuff that, you know, nobody wants in Hollywood movies, okay? You know, people want to see the best of the movies that they come out with this year, okay? And now, you know, now it's two new ones. Oscar's so male and Oscar's so straight. Because, you know, Joker, the movie that you guys try to destroy. The movie that you guys try to eliminate, okay? You know, but then... You have, you guys trash movie here, you guys are going around saying that Alita Battle Angels was like the worst movie you ever made, okay? If you guys really want to have a, you know, you know, but you guys went to go trash Alita Battle Angels right away, because, you know, it was made by Robert Rodriguez. And because it wasn't, a, it didn't have Diddy's logo on it, okay? Joker wants to tell Hollywood that I asked for free films that I don't think deserve the animation they received. I asked for the Disney movie, so I can understand that when all made films, but, you know, and of course, they're using this, 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 and of course, you have all the media saying, they're complaining, okay? The Oscars took another big step backward, and once again, oh no, they, you know, who, you know, you know, be in contact with the Hollywood, get to his award, 
Uh, and here we go, the movie that you guys pop up, Us and Hot Sauce. Hell yeah, I never seen before, okay? You know, Korean Swim, a movie that nobody really watched, you know? And then, of course, we have the two big ones, Us and Hot Sauce. They're so angry at these two movies that you guys literally, literally popped up and, you know, calling masterpieces, and no one wants to buy them. Us sold horribly on Blu-ray. Us was sold horribly on Blu-ray, okay? You know how horrible Us has sold on Blu-ray, okay? The fact that Man Black and Nasto sold more copies than Us is just laughable here. The fact that you see copies of Us just sitting around in stores is just so hilarious every time I see it, okay? Same thing with Us was, okay? I won't be spies in two months. There's like 10 copies of Hot Swords because nobody, because the audience who bought Hot Swords went to go buy the movie and now no one is buying it. No one is buying it, okay? And, and you know, it's hard. <laughs> so it's good enough. It's so good to know, but, you know, and of course they're complaining that, you know, ours is so much better than Scout Johansson, okay? You know, Scout Johansson has been deserving a best, though, an Oscar for a long time, but you guys don't like her for some reason. Okay, when Zoga has the most nominated, but the fellow has none, you know. But Hustle, no, not Hustle, it's Parasite got a while, and that's an actual Korean movie. And here you go again, there's more and more and more, okay. Uh, back and even a year or so, Hutt's like Frozen 2. I guess they could put, you know, um, you know, let's put, you know, movies like Endgame. We really want to put such movies based off the box office potential. Get the best pictures, so it will be the Lion King remake, Endgame, and, you know, <laughs> and Captain Marvel. Which all made more money than Joker, okay? Two of those movies don't that a lot of people hate, okay? You know, and of course, uh, Frozen 2. And this is why racist. And I was trying to say that the Oscars are racist, okay? The Oscars base movies off, you know, the greatest movies, okay? They, they, they don't, you know, you don't really, again, again, you don't really judge movies based off a person's skin color, okay? That's the real racism here, okay? The fact that you're so concerned about, you know, someone's skin color, and being a, and a, and a performance in a movie is just absolutely just hilarious here, okay? With a so-called anime can carry a trashy Joker and Scout or Hansen, but it's not a movie that nobody wants, okay? When you go to the stores, I made a whole video that Us is not selling at stores. There's like 10 copies of Us just sitting there not selling because nobody wants to buy this movie. No one wants to buy Hustlers, okay? No one wants these movies besides you guys, okay? That's why these two, those two movies made so much money, because you guys went out to go see them in mass, okay? You know, and, and, you know, and, of course, people, are, and of course, you know, there's some here, and, of course, you'll complain that Jennifer Lopez is, you know, <laughs> you, you know, they complain that Jennifer Lopez is not getting an Oscar for being herself, basically, okay? Jennifer Lopez didn't get any Oscars nominations for being herself, basically, okay? You know? Beyonce didn't get Oscars for an animated character, okay? And Frozen 2, okay? You know? <laughs> and here we go again, Aquafina, which is a movie that no one has heard of before. And, you know, and of course they'll complain and they complain that Joker and Alice are totally overweight and simply not good. You know, here we go again, these people just don't quit, okay? You know, these people just don't care about movies. They don't care about film. I'm just sorry, okay? Hollywood thinks these people care about them, but once the Academy announces and puts on movies that they don't like, they'll start complaining, okay? You know, uh, you know, okay? It doesn't matter about the story, okay? You know, it doesn't matter about the story, okay? The fact that, you know, you have so many movies that you guys popped up like Booksmart, you know, Us and Hustlers, and the fact that you guys are complaining that not all of them made it in, okay, that not all of the movies you popped up made it in, and now you guys are crying that they didn't get awarded or nominated for anything, okay? You complain that Scout Johansson got over the Stupid Hustlers is a movie that is garbage. Hustlers is garbage. I'm sorry to say that. Hustlers is garbage, okay? And we hold, and then we have Little Woman, that content, that, that not diversity, okay? You know, and again, then there's the media, okay? There's various here, okay? You know. Jennifer Lopez Oscar star, but few hates celebrities and fans, okay? Nobody likes hustlers, okay? Nobody likes hustlers besides the SCWs, okay? 
Again, no, we were nominated for Best Two Actor 2020 Oscars. Oh, yeah, Book Smart and Rita World were snubbed. The movie that he called masterpieces, but they didn't listen to us. And here we go. How to win an Oscar if you're black? You know, how do you. Here we go. How do you win an Oscar if you're black? Have a good performance. Have very awesome, you know, groundbreaking acting like Joker, okay? You know. Have a very groundbreaking movie that isn't, you know, about, you know, SDW politics, okay? You know, you know, have a very groundbreaking movie. And of course, sometimes, oh, not, you know, they have to pick and choose between movies. But you have to have, like, a big movie that, you know, everybody is saying this before the Oscars. Don't know saying Harry was for the Oscars. And the Oscars say, oh, these movies will be nominated for the Oscars. And, and the Oscars also goes over other award shows. And see that these people are not nominated for anything. They don't go, they, don't, they won't nominate them. They'll say, oh look, these have been doing well in the other award shows, okay? And it's the same thing with the British Awards as well, okay? Now, they will complain about that too, so. And, you know, we have more here. You know, the mainstream media complain and complaining because, you know, <laughs> they, they, because, you know, it's just, it's just the same thing over like in 2014, okay? And 2018 when Black Panther didn't win Best Picture, they were so complaining. That Black Panther did anything. Again, again, here we go again. <laughs> yeah, you know. I was mad once for that. I took 25% of the Oscars nominations. And here we go, they're still complaining. They're still complaining. Okay. Oh yeah, here's the here's movie that's sort of really been nominated, Gremlins 2 The New Bats, okay? That's, that's a masterpiece, I, I, you know, he is completely correct here, okay? You know, Gremlins 2 is sort of been nominated for, you know, Best Picture, even though it came out in 1994, yeah, it's an obvious movie. You know, we sort of nominated, you know, um, Cats for Best Picture, that, you know, that's what we've been nominated too. You can't forget Cats, okay? Chuck Adam there, basically. And, um, and, and again, you can just go and go here again, that's some movie that no one has heard of, the blue tech box and all these people, you know, someone that no one has heard of, a movie that no one cares about, okay? Movies that are completely forgotten about. Like, I've forgot, I've actually forgotten that Us existed as a movie, okay? And, you know, I've forgotten that Us existed, okay? You know? But, the, you know, and, you know, they're complaining, okay? You know? Calling us incels for, you know, why Joker for best movie, okay? You know, these people just never quit, okay? You know? Parasite, which is something that does deserve to be best pix beyond best picture, okay? You know, Jojo Rabbit, you know, some some of these movies don't deserve to be on best picture. I'm looking at you, little woman, okay? You know, Donnie's for the 2020 Oscars, yeah, blah, 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 blah. And again, it's the same thing over and over and over again. They're complaining that, you know, Us wasn't nominated. They're complaining that Hustlers wasn't nominated for anything. A movie that you guys called a masterpiece. That is, that wasn't selling on Amazon. I hope we. I think it's going down on Amazon. No one's buying this movie, okay? No, okay, you know. Hustles had dropped to number forty-seven. I was number forty-two yesterday. It's continuing on dropping every day because nobody wants this movie. Even with a price drop, it's not. It hasn't ever gone into the top twenty or top ten movies because no one cares about Hustles, okay? No one cares about this movie, okay? Hustlers just doesn't sell because no one wants it, okay? No one wants to watch that movie, okay? You know, same thing of us. It didn't sell well at all, okay? It didn't sell. If you get the best selling, you don't get the numbers, okay? You know, the numbers. Okay? And if you get the best selling DVDs, because they have one for the best selling DVDs of Blu rays of 2019. But see what us is on the charts, okay? A movie you called one of the best movies of the year was us. Us! It's we wrote Batman Huss, a direct DVD movie. It's we wrote a Pet Cemetery remake, okay? But you guys called it a masterpiece. You guys said it was a masterpiece, but most people didn't want to go see it. Well, it was Booksmart here, okay? And of course, you can have these heroes still defending Midsummer, you know, Booksmart as well, but Booksmart is nowhere to be seen. Heck, the, the Madea movie. Madea Family Funeral sold more copies on Blu ray than Booksmart, okay? You know. <laughs> And Us was outsold by movies, you know, that no one really cared about, okay? You know, or, or you know, lesser-known movies. Movies that made less money, okay? 
you know, it's that got outsold by Wabi. And I know I didn't get outsold by Wabi. That was well. It got outsold by a lot of movies that made West Money Day, okay? Pet Cemetery, The Nutcracker, and The Four Realms. It got outsold by Free From Hell, which didn't even come out in feeders. Mortal Engine sold more copies than it. Rocket Man sold more copies. Glass sold more copies, making, making less money. The Mule, Hellboy, Creed 2, always sold around the same amount of money. Game of Super Bowl, Man Black and Nassau sold more copies than us. <clears throat> Pets 2 sold more copies, spent only making like 20 million less dollars. Dark Phoenix sold more copies. Lego Movie 2, Alita sold more copies. Godzilla sold more copies. Pikachu, Man, I think my apartment sold more. Um, so more stars, you know, but you know, movies like you know, How to Trade Dragon, you know, made less money, but it, all these movies I mentioned here made less money than us. Sazam made less money than us, and you know, I think the high, I, don't, I think all these movies up here made more money than us, you know. I think the world's movie on here is Fantastic Beast, probably the highest movie on here that made less money than us, but us didn't really sell too well on Blu ray, okay? Of course, it's so bad in movies like you know. Yesterday, but yesterday has less days of sales, okay? You know, it's just like these people don't listen, okay? No one cares about us, no one wants to go see us, okay? You know, us and if it was DVDs, small foot sold more copies than us, okay? A movie that was the, was completely awful, Goosebumps sold more copies than us. Okay, the house of a clock in its walls. Okay, now it's added the Equalizer Two, which came out last year, and these money, these movies made less money than us. Night School Breakthrough. Okay, you know, you know we have Man Black Dance against you No know, Hellboy. You know we have you know various other movies here, and us is just not selling. Us is not one of the movies that is selling. Okay, and us is continuing to go down day by day. Because nobody cares about us. And it will soon be outsold by Pet Cemetery as well, too. Okay? So, us is just not selling. Okay? It's just not selling. Nobody wants to buy us. Okay? And, you know, of course, you know, box office does not really determine the quality of a movie, okay? There have been some really great movies that had very, very small box office sales. But, you know... Here, okay, and this is why this is why people don't use Twitter anymore. Besides the W's, okay, okay. And the complaint that Black Panther didn't win Best Picture. Black Panther was like the brandest of brand movies, okay. You know, Black Panther was either the brandest of Marvel movies ever made. So that means yeah. So the SDWs are still complaining that Joker. Was dominated that us didn't win anything. Oh, uh, you know, it was just a masterpiece of a movie, apparently, but didn't win any award, didn't nominate for any awards, okay? You know, and of course, you gotta remember if you, if you understand how the Oscars are, they usually always nominate movies, okay? First of all, people who are complaining that us that didn't nominate for anything, if you, you, you guys don't listen to the trends that the Oscars are, okay? Do, okay? They don't really put, you know, Movies that come out at the beginning of the year. Us came out at the beginning of the year, and that's another disadvantage the movie had. And there you go. Us had a disadvantage because it came out at the beginning of the year. Okay? You know, there's only very few movies that are like that. But I can continue going all, all days. The Oscars are not racist. They nominate whatever movies they choose to put. And, you know, maybe at the W's, maybe if your movies weren't so woke and garbage, you, they would be nominated. Goodbye.